Hello everyone and welcome back to our YouTube channel. I hope you are doing well. Now from this video we are starting something new for you which is Salesforce Agent Force series. So this series will be very exciting because in this series I will be explain the agent force from start to end. That means in this video we will deep dive into what is agent force in Salesforce. After that I will explain agent force features and uses and then we will understand how to enable agent force in Salesforce developer edition. So if you are using the older version of the Salesforce developer org, then you may not have agent force features in your Salesforce org. For that you need to create another Salesforce developer org edition. In that you will be have the Salesforce agent force feature inbuilt enabled. Now first let's understand on the Salesforce org what is agent force. So here I am navigating to the Salesforce org. Now in this org you can see something is new for us. Here you can see as I hover on this icon, here we have agent force enabled. That means as I click on this agent force, then scroll down. Here we need to click on this got it. And then the agent force will be start. Now first let's understand what is the use of this agent force. For that let's understand one use case. So you are working as a support agent and you may get query about what is the stage of particular opportunity. So here I am navigating to the opportunity object. And then here you can see here we have opportunities. So let me change the list view. As I select the all opportunities, so here we have different opportunities and I want to know the account name and stage of particular opportunity. So let's say here I am selecting this opportunity and now when you get the query, so instead of navigating on that particular object, so here I am providing the prompt to the agent, give me the account name and the opportunity stage of and now here we need to paste the opportunity name opportunity and then press the enter now here you can see it processing after processing the agent will give you response now here you can see the details the account name associated with age SLA opportunity is age communications. Now here you can see here we have age SLA opportunity name then the account is age communication and then the opportunity stage is closed one. Now as I open this opportunity. So click on the details. And now here you can see the opportunity stage is closed one. So like this, there are multiple uses of the agent force in Salesforce. Now let's navigate to the PPT. There I will be explain what is agent force, then their features and uses. And then we will see how we can enable the agent force in Salesforce developer edition. Before moving ahead, here is very big announcement for the Salesforce geekers. We recently launched a Salesforce admin training course. In that, we explain every concept in a simple and easy to understand way. So you can learn step by step with the confidence. So this course is for beginner to the advanced level. In that we have covered 10 modules, you will get lifetime access. So here you can see, here we have covered 10 modules, introduction to Salesforce, Salesforce navigation and setup. After that Salesforce user management. Then we also have covered Salesforce apps, object and tabs. After that the Salesforce fields and formulas, UI customization in Salesforce. After that Salesforce reports and dashboards, Salesforce data management and Salesforce flows. So in this course we have covered everything from beginner to the advanced level. So if you are serious about launching your Salesforce career, check out the course now. We have provided the link in the description box. You can go through it. Now let's jump to the topic. Now let's move to our topic. So first we will understand what is agent force in Salesforce. In this simple world, the agent force is AI for Salesforce. That means whatever the information you want to search, you can give the prompt to the agent and that agent will display the information or the response whatever they have information in the Salesforce org. Now let's understand these points. The agent force is an advanced AI tool designed to create and manage tasks automatically. Then it understands the process information and communicate naturally with the users. That means again let's navigate to the Salesforce org. Now here when I given the prompt to the agent here you can see give me the account name and the opportunity stage of age SLA opportunity. So here I didn't use any programmatical language or the what we can say any search language. 
instead of that here i have used the human speech natural language that means the agent can communicate naturally with the users after that in the agent force we can deploy ai agents in the salesforce org or an external website so this agent is a internal agent that means this agent we have deployed in the salesforce org then what is been by external site so here i am opening the salesforce help now as i open this website this one is the external website and now here you can see here also we have the agent now this agent is external agent that means whatever the agent we deployed to the external websites that agents are called external agents and the whatever the agents we deploy in the salesforce org this agent only can use the salesforce users and the external website agents is for the external customers now let's navigate to the ppt so the agent force respond to queries and the request in language inspired by human speech and provide relevant response based on the company information so we have seen the human speech language now here you can see the it provides the response based on the company information that means while creating and deploying the agent we give the proper information and the agent can use only those information to give the output or provide the response now let's understand the feature and uses of the agent force so here the first use of agent force it summarize the salesforce records including standard and custom objects by retrieving relevant data so here we have seen on the salesforce org it summarize the details and give as a response it use the pre built email template to interact with customers now when we create and deploy the agent at that time i will explain how we can use the pre built email template to interact with customers for that we need to create the email prompt template in salesforce and then we can assign that template to the agent so that whenever we give prompt to create the email the agent will create automated email and send to the users or customers now let's check for the standard agent so here i again i am navigating to the salesforce org and in the prompt here i am providing create an email to send the account to tell them the account priority has been changed to high so here we need to provide any account name select the all list view here i am selecting the s force account and then after the account here i am pasting the here i am providing the account name and then press the enter key so it is showing working on it now here you can see the agent has been created the email template for us subject notification to account priority change to high then here you can see the greeting and then we are writing to inform you these all the paragraphs or this wording is created by the agent that means now we don't need to write the emails or the email template we can simply give the prompt to the agent in the human speech language that we want to create an email template to send and then we can provide the what purpose we want to create an email after that the agent will create the email template for you and you can use this email template to send the customers after that here we have two options copy draft and then send email if you want to modify this email you can click on this copy draft and if you want to send the email directly then you can click on this send email after that let's see the another features ai agent understand the process information communicate naturally with the users and take action to perform specific task so the agent can process the information and communicate naturally with the users and it also takes the action to perform the task such as if you want to change or update the records then we can provide the prompt in that way and the agent will update or change the records after that we can extend the standard agent action or build new agent in salesforce according to the needs so that they can solve task specific to the organization so here let me navigate to the salesforce org this agent where we given the prompt this is the standard agent so here the actions here you can see the standard agent actions this action is a pillar of the agent force or the agent because in the upcoming videos i will be explain what is topic actions and instructions in salesforce 
so these are the building blocks of this agent using that the agent can perform or we can say it process the query and then using the instruction topics and the actions it provide the response to the end user so for that if you are new to our channel hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon so whenever you post a new video you will get an update so from this video whatever the videos we will create on the agent force you can get those notification and you will be understand the agent force in salesforce now moving ahead now if you want the agent force enable in your salesforce developer edition org then here you can see here i have provided one link this link i have given in description box you can go through it as you click on that link so here i am opening this link you will be get redirect to sign up for your developer edition now this time they have provided agent force and the data cloud in your salesforce developer org edition so here you need to provide the details how to create salesforce developer org edition the video i have given in description box you can go through it so that ui will be different but the information that you need to provide that information will be same so referring that video you can create salesforce developer org edition and there you will have the agent force included in salesforce now here i am navigating to the salesforce org after creating the developer org edition so here very first you need to navigate on setup in the quick find you need to search for einstein setup here you can see under the einstein generative ai here we have einstein setup click on it let me close this one now very first here you need to turn on the einstein so here after enabling the einstein again in the quick find you need to search for agents and then here you can see under the agent for studio here we have agents click on it and then as you scroll down here you can see enable the agent force default agent that means this one is the salesforce agent or we can say agent force agent now as you enable this agent in the agent name you will be see agent force default type of employee and then description so in this way we can enable the agent force in salesforce now after enabling the agent force we need to activate it for that here you need to click on this agent force and then here you can see the setup will be open and after that here you can see here we have button open in builder so before that here you can see here we have details system message and then language setting in the upcoming videos i will be explain this system messages and the language setting but now i will be explain how we can activate the agent in agent force so here i am clicking on open in builder so here you can see here we have topics in the standard agent we have two topics as i click on this topics after opening the topics here you can see the name and api name after that here we have instruction and then in the another tab here you can see this topics actions as i click on this actions so here we have multiple actions related to this particular topic now one topic can have multiple instructions and then actions so let me close this one now here you can see here we have deactivate button that means that means i already activated this agent now to activate the agent here you need to click on this activate button so let me deactivate the agent now again as i navigate to the salesforce org or the home page let me refresh this one again as i open the agent force and now here you can see something went wrong refresh and try again so here we are not getting what is the problem in our agent so here don't worry if you are getting this type of error you need to simply go to the agent force builder click on this activate button and again navigate to the home page refresh the page and now here you can see agent is ready to communicate with users so i hope whatever i explain about the agent force you have understood it so this is the video for start with the agent force 
From the upcoming videos, I will be detail explain each and every term in the agent force in Salesforce. For that, stay tuned with us, subscribe our channel and press the bell icon so whenever you post a new video, you will get an update. Thank you.